So this is the ring terminal, it fits right onto this lug right here. This is the positive side over here, the plus sign, this is a negative sign. So we gotta put this ring terminal on, because that's gonna connect to the positive side. And that protects us against electrical fires and safety if the wires get shorted for some reason. Okay, and then the other side needs to go to the diode output. This diode has a, it's marked so that it says right here battery side or a cathode, it's a cathode side of the, the diode, the blocking diode. And this one's rated for uh, 15 continuous amps, 25 peak, 100 volts, continuous 200 peak. Uh, this is just a 12 volt system, so don't have to worry about that. This side goes to the generators uh, that you're going to connect to or a solar panel. So, um, what we want to do here is we'll cut the zip tie and uh, this, this battery has about, you know, 10 inches here so we need to open up this wire. Be careful, don't cut yourself, but you just have to gently um, open up the wire. So it's wider and strip it back like this and uh, trim off the housing like that. And we don't need the green, we're not using the green wire. And this white wire is going to be the, the positive side, the black wire is going to be the negative side. So we want to go into the fuse from the positive side. So we're going to connect up. Um, female spade connector. These are pretty easy to use. You have to just do a real strong, um, nice strong crimp on them and then do a tug test on it. So you push it in, hold it, squeeze it as hard as you can and then do a tug test. You shouldn't be able to pull it off. And then for the other side of the fuse, this will go into the, uh, this terminal, the male and the female here. Don't ask me why they call it that, but that's just the way it is. So hopefully that's not offending anybody today. And then again, so you can see, I'm just gonna crimp that real good, real hard. Ugh. Do the pull test. Now you connect this male into the female. And now you have now you have the diode output going positive going into the fuse right here. The 25 amp fuse. This is going to go to the positive terminal right over here. So we can put that here. Although I'll wait till we're done first before we do that because you, you don't want live voltage on wiring when you're working. So here's the negative side. And here we want another ring. This is another ring terminal. And uh, I'm going to squeeze real hard on that one. Ugh. Okay, so put the negative side on first. This battery is very dangerous because just in the way that it can melt wires very quickly. So that's why you have a fuse. And uh, it's very, <laughs> it's, uh, I have another video of what a wire looks like when it's shorted and, and uh, 
with no fuse on it, it just melts instantly. So, so there's your 12 volts. 12 volts will not shock you. You can touch it. It won't hurt you. Um, unless your hands are really wet and you have thin skin, you might not, you won't even feel it. So now we have a diode and now we're ready to hook it up to a generator. So there's a generator right here. It's a hand crank generating system. It's got, you can put out like five amps right here. Uh, electrical power. And uh, we can just hook up to the connector right here. This is on the website. And uh, here's uh, positive and negative. So this is the blocking diode. And I'm going to disconnect this this terminal right here. Disconnect the positive just while we're hooking this up because we have bare wires right here. We don't want the power. You do not want the battery hooked up when you're hooking this stuff up. So first you set up the generator here. And that's going to be... Um, we're going to put a fem uh, another female connector. Got a bag of these right here. So we're getting one of these out. And you put it on the... Twist the wire. Make sure it's twisted. Don't put it in with it all bushed out. You have to twist it so it's nice and nice and, uh, and slender. Slide the connector on. Once again, we crimp. Squeeze real hard. And then we'll do the... The last one this is the negative wire on the this is the input side of the diode. See it's not twisted. Now we're gonna twist it. There it is. Pull out a connector. Slide that on. And then we got there it is. So that's gonna go to our generator. So the black goes to the black. There we go, and the white is going to go to the white, it's really the positive, okay, so now we're connected, we have the, now we have the generator going into the diode, the diode is now going into the, the fuse through this wire, and you can see nothing happens, and then now we're ready to charge a battery. Now we're ready to charge this battery. All we gotta do is start turning the, uh, the generator system right here. I can feel it right now. It's really hard to turn as, as it charges this battery. And if we wanna make sure, we can put a voltmeter on it. So right now you can see there's 13.23 volts. When I turn it, it's going up. It's 13.3, so I'm actually charging the battery. So here's how you set up the blocking diode. If I took this blocking diode out, then this generator right here would just start spinning on its own. The current would go this way from the battery to the generator we don't want that so that's why we have a blocking diode here that stops the current from flowing so this is how you set it up thanks for watching